Hi guys, how you doing? Today I wanted to talk about a few of my favorite beauty products, or beauty products, body products that I've been playing with at the moment. My face is so important, but I love, love, love body moisturizers or oils or anything, especially when they smell delicious and they absorb and they don't peel. That means they're a winner. So um, I wanted to show you some of the some new ones I've been playing with and also ones that are kind of my, that I love all the time. So to start it off, Kiehl's Jumbo Size Creme de Corpo. I usually just invest in this one. I don't even remember how much I pay. I'm in denial and I try not to think about that. But it's a little bit of an investment. And I try to use as little bit of this as possible, like when I get out of the shower. Um, I always find with any moisturizer, while your skin is still damp, if you pump some on and then put it on, you really don't have to use as much. Whereas if your body's dry, you, you kind of use double the amount. So I'm very, very light-handed with this, which is kind of a first because I usually am heavy-handed with absolutely everything. But um, for any, like any time your skin is parched or sunburned or just feels really dry and dehydrated. I love this Kiehl's Creme de Corpo. The other one I like is the Creme de Cor Soy Milk and Honey Body Butter and that comes more in like your typical body butter jar. Um, but I, I don't, I wouldn't classify that as a body butter. It feels more like I would call it a souffle. Um, it's kind of soft and whipped but the smell of this is divine. You know I'm a huge smell person. Um, it's got usually got to have a nice smell for me to like it more of a subtle you know one and this this one smells absolutely beautiful and I find it even more nourishing than than this one than the, the normal creme de, creme de corpse um, one I also tried by then that I can say I didn't like um, I thought I would because I thought it was gonna be the next step up in the hydration was their imperial body butter um, that really was kind of a body, real body butter consistency and I didn't think it absorbed that well when I would rub it into my my arms it would take forever and it would get trapped kind of in the arm hair so it was um yeah I, I did not I did not like that just because it took so much longer to moisturize my whole body with that but the souffle um the soy milk and honey body butter that I think is a souffle and um and this one are are awesome so I do like Kiehl's for their body products. I haven't uh, haven't tried any of their, their face stuff, but um, body, yes. Um, and then another one. So I don't think that supermarket brands, you know, are crappy. I'm just kind of, I just like luxury items a lot of the time. But occasionally I will, you know, if I hear someone say it's awesome, then I will go out and buy it. And that was the case with um, it's St. Ives. <laughs> this is like $4. Um, St. Ives Intensive Healing heals dry and cracked skin. So I always look for really nourishing, um, powerful moisturizers that don't feel heavy on my on my body. Um, and this one is really good. It's um, it says it's got a hundred percent natural moisture complex in it. Um, it's non-irritating, fragrance-free, and hypoallergenic. So I didn't. Um, there's not really a smell to it. There is no smell. Um, pretty much, but it's cheap enough that I can, for four dollars for a bottle like this, I can use it every day if I want to. So um, if I'm, you know, not wanting to use as many as my nice products or I'm running low, then I'll always just go to the St. Ives. And this does a pretty good job. It just doesn't feel as luxurious, you know, as, um, as some other products does. But this is a great one. If you're on a budget and you want a really good body moisturizer, then you should do this. I, I heard of it in... Um, there's this this beauty bible book. Well, it's not called. I know there's one called the beauty bible, but it's called "Don't Go to the Cosmetics Counter Without Me." And this was like a tragic love story when I read it. It is so sad because all the brands that I like, she basically tore apart. Um, all these these great products that I that I mean, I still think they're they work. And I think it's always your own personal preference as to what you use. I don't know if she's actually tried every single product that she's reviewing, but I know she looks at the product. Um, and rates them based on um, how much of the um, ingredients there are in there, so your good ingredients or whether or not um, there's chemicals in there. She's got this this rating system, um, so I don't know. There was a few products I was like, I love this one, and she said it sucked, but um, I still use it because <laughs> you can't believe everything, and if it works for you, then keep using it. So that's that, and then Nux Paris, um, N-U-X-E, Pale-E, um, which is just a fabulous uh, range. They do, they do face and they do body, and they've recently come out with a, like a body firming range. Um, like there's a product that targets cellulite, 
it's a serum, um, and then I've got this one, which is their Fondant Firming Cream, um, anti-aging, and it has a tightening effect, and this is really, really beautiful. It comes in type of a body butter type of jar, um, but it's not a body butter consistency, and it smells, mm, it smells really, really nice. With tightening products, it, it's hard. I mean, it's not like you're like, you know, I think the tightening is happening on a, a, you know, on a minimal level, we, you probably may not no, notice it, but over time, I'm sure this does this does help with with getting a tightening effect um, or helping out with cellulite and everything. The smell is almond and orange petal flowers. Mmm, it's a really nice summer scent. Um, uh, this is one of the products that I'm trying to use, a, you know, a little bit of so it lasts lasts longer. But it makes me want to try their other body products. Um, this was the first body moisturizer that I've tried. I love their, I never know how to say it, it's called Huel Protegies or um, the, a shimmer oil or they've got this this fantastic dry oil that doesn't have a shimmer in and that feels amazing on the skin and doesn't, it's not greasy and it doesn't get on your clothes or anything but this was their other product that I that I had mentioned in another video that I really wanted to try and this is the the same oil but it's got the the shimmer in there so got six precious oils and vitamin E, but best of all, it's got these tiny, these tiny, um, like little mother of pearl sparkles in there. And the effect on your skin is really, really beautiful. So you just shake it up. Make sure you shake it up, otherwise you're not going to get as much of the, uh, the sparkles. And then you can just put it on wherever you want to and then rub it in. I love to put this on my arms and my decolletage area because it makes any, you know, just makes your skin look luminescent and it makes, you guys are probably not even going to be able to see on camera, but it's shimmering all right. I can see it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. So pretty. So during summer, if you've got like a nice date you're going on, or just in general, this just adds that bit of extra oomph you know, to your, to your skin. People will take notice, but not in a greasy way. Like I said, I judge these whether or not I look greasy or oily, and this doesn't make you look like that. So it's very easily absorbed, and um, not only do you get the sparkles, but you're getting all the goodness of all the, the vitamins and everything in there that um, are doing wonders for your skin. It's got a, it's got a peasant. I'm mixing it with the other body product. It's got a subtle smell, this one. They smell good together. Mmm, the firming cream and the shimmer oil. Delish. So those are a few of my body products I've been playing with you guys. And um, yeah, all of them are fabulous and I can attest to them. And I don't really like doing videos on products that I don't like. So if someone says, sends me something and I don't like it, I don't want to do a review on why I don't like it typically. But um, it's always so much more exciting to, to get excited and talk about products that you actually like. So all of these I absolutely love. You will love them, I think, and um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!